All right, we're getting ready to take a field trip, y'all. So I'm making this video to let you guys know that's interesting in movie screenings, like free movie screenings. You don't have to be anybody special. I got invited to one, not because of this channel or anything like that. I simply just found a website, signed up, and put in my email, basically. I'll leave the website that I'm using personally in a description, a video description. But yeah, once you make a free account, and there's an option to have them send you email notifications whenever a, a free streaming in your area comes up. So it doesn't matter where you live, it should be some streamings, like especially if you live in like a bigger, bigger city, it should be some streamings nearby you. This is like my fourth attempt to, to be a part of a movie streaming. When you do sign up, put your email and all that, and they do send you the email saying that it's a streaming available in your, available in your area, what what's going to happen is you'll follow the link and the link is going to take you to this survey type deal where you answer all your questions you put your contact information your name address like all your basic information but the next part of this survey type deal is they ask you like what movies you've seen re recently what movies you watched in theaters what series you watch it, it, it asks all these movie and and series related questions like i said i'm new to this so i'm not exactly sure why but my edu educated guess is they're trying to you know get a good idea of what you watch before they go send you to watch something for free because i guess they don't want to see seem to go watch something that you don't particularly like yourself so i did probably like 40 surveys i think um yeah i think the other three was like this online deal so i guess they they have you watch something online on your computer. I, I wanted to do that because that's like a paid streaming. Like they actually pay you like like $50 to do something like that. But this here is just a regular go to the theaters early to see this movie. So I thought they would tell you which movie that you're seeing, but they don't tell you much. They just basically tell you what time to be there, the address, and they give you this ticket that I'm about to print out that I need to go ahead and print out because we about to be late, y'all. We about to be late. Anything that I see and hear, I'm going to share with you, like all the important information. For example, like right here, it says no cell phones will be allowed. So I'm just going to leave my cell phone in the car. I'm pretty sure when you get there with your cell phone, a lot of people are going to walk in with their cell phones. They probably put that little Ziploc lock deal where, you, where you, they lock your phone up and you got to unlock it when you leave so besides going through all that i'm just going to print this out so i have it in paper in my hand and have my id in my hand well well one, well two more things two more things i see it's a pre-check-in here so that should save me some time in case i'm late and the other thing is they want you to show up an hour before so the, the show time is at 7 p.m but they saying show up no later than six so they want you to show up an hour early they sent me a text message saying the check-in starts at, uh, at two hours early, at five o'clock my time. So let's go through this pre-check-in, see what they want. Uh, I look like just a signature deal, submit. That's it, oh, it's the NDA. I'm not gonna break any rules, of course. I don't wanna break any laws since I just signed the NDA. But I do wanna um, share anything I can with y'all. All right, can y'all see me okay? Can y'all see me? I guess that's good, huh? When I made it to the theater, I went to the to the front desk. Y'all probably didn't like to see me. But I went to the front desk and I, um, what well, the guy asked me, he was like, are you here from Star Trek? I guess they got some kind of Star Trek fan event or something like that. But he said, are you here for Star Trek or the no name film? I said the no name. He's all right, go upstairs. So I went upstairs. I waited in a long line. So the line was just people that, I mean, I you guys saw me sign the, the form, you know, stating, I forgot the name of it, but whatever the form is that, you know, stating that you won't, you know, talk about the film and stuff like that, you know, in, to, to the public. But everybody was like, you know, getting their form, signing it, signing it on the walls and everything. Cause we were standing in line. They didn't want us to sign this paperwork. But we signed the paperwork and then we went to like a second part where they actually check like our, our information. So we act, I need to make sure I still got my license, y'all. But yeah, so um, they checked our license and they had like the people that was checking the license had their phone. Y'all got my license. 
they had like a cell phone where they ask for your name and they just plug in the name i guess just to make sure you're legit like i, I printed off the the ticket here but i, I told the guy like i was scared at first y'all so like he the, the guy like people in front of me they was like telling their name and they walked to the theater telling they walked to the theater but it got to me he said what's your name i said jonathan turner he said you, you checked he looked he said wait here for a minute i was like god oh, dang I'm, I'm i'm instantly looking to side to side like you know feeling the, the eyeballs on me but still i made it they take our phones what well, they took you know everybody else's phone asked me like you know do you have a cell phone i said no i don't have it and then after that that's just it i went sat in the theater but the movie started like at seven and we i was seated at like six twenty. But I was like in the front. So they was like filling the rows, rows by row, row by row, row by row. And then when I got in, it was like the last like like seven rows left. But yeah, I was it was two couples next to me. And I was trying to like have conversations for you guys because I was asking asking questions about streams, like asking like, you know, have you did this before? Like, you know, what do you think the movie is and stuff like that? So I got a little information from the girl next to me and then the guy on my uh, on my other side. So the guy, he was basically saying that he kind of prepped me. I'm glad I asked him because he prepped me. He said he'd been to these things before and the movies aren't finished. Like, I'm glad he said that because I saw it like firsthand around like seven o'clock gets close by then this guy walks out you know looking all not professional but he looks kind of like you know that little hippie type professional with glasses and, and the blazer or whatever but he walked out and he introduced himself and he said that um he they came the team came from california and he said we come we came here to test us because you guys are the best audience i don't know if he just gassing us up or whatever he asked us he said you know that we respect you know not to talk about this tweet the movie and stuff like that blah 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 and then he told us the name of the movie and when he told us the name i was like oh man I, it was like a movie i wouldn't expect that i'll go see on my own so i feel like these type of screenings are a lot of movies like that like movies you wouldn't really go out to see on your own but yeah so he introduced the movie then we watched it and um after the movie was over they like when we sat down, it was envelopes taped to like each, like every single back of, um, back of the seat. And the envelopes, it, it said don't open to after the movie and, and it explained that it was a survey. So after the movie, we uh, opened the envelopes. It was like a long survey, long survey to asking for like detailed like answers. So we, we filled out the survey. It was like a front and back type deal. And then we turned the surveys and now I'm here. So yeah, I tried to get through all that before i could say like what i really wanted to say but again out of respect for the company i'm not gonna say what the movie is i feel like 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 i how i said the guy told me that like when he did this before he can tell like the movie wasn't finished the guy that introduced the movie he told us this as well he said there's gonna be some parts that like the you know coloring won't be right and stuff like that the parts that i that was like easy to notice was like the camera it was it was parts where where there was some driving involved and like the cameras was like you can see the cameras like outside the window and it happened a lot and i mean besides that you can see the parts where the stunt double was like they didn't they didn't like edit in the after like the stunt double or the like the the um what did they call the cgi was kind of like bland but besides that like i enjoyed the movie like going into it i felt like if they're going to release the movie anyway why are we doing all these surveys on it and stuff like that but the point of all of this in case you're wondering is for them to make last minute tweets to the movie so this is the reason why the movie it like it's a it's a movie that only thing has has been announced yet it's probably like coming out like towards the end of this year 2023 or or maybe even next year but that's the point so they can make last minute tweets they had like cameras on the side to i guess film our reactions so they got like you know the paperwork or surveys to go by to make the last minute tweets and they, they got our, our live reactions to go by 
So they can see when we laugh, they can see when we, you know, I guess some people may cry, stuff like that, or they can see when we're like dissatisfied. I don't know, that's just something that I, I felt like, you know, I wanted to say. But besides that, I said everything. <laughs>